Welcome to Top Solid. In this example, we're going to learn how to optimize the uh, length of chain required to drive between two geared sprockets, for example. Uh, maybe we're going to uh, drive some kind of mechanism with this. But we're going to break it into a simple 2D example, okay? Because it's really not harder than that. So, as you can see, I have an 8 inch theoretical sprocket here and a 4 inch sprocket here, okay? And they're separated by some distance. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create, and I'll do it with a thicker line style, my uh, theoretical chain. Okay? So I'm going to go to Contour. I'll start here. I'm going to click down to here. I'll come over, up a little bit, up, over, and let's close it. So now you can see I've stretched my chain around there. Now, in your typical uh, chain, your chain link for this stuff, uh, you know there's a distance between each of the pivots on the chain. and We're going to say for argument's sake that distance is a half inch. Uh, so in order for this to work, the total length of this curve around here has to be equal to some length that is measurable in half inch increments. Okay, so let's see what we can do. First thing I want to do is I want to create a parameter based on the length uh, right here of this object. Okay, and I'm going to call it, uh, oh, let's just call it length, or L for length. Okay, and we want to go to four decimal places. I'm going to put it right there. So right now, this is at 66 inches and change. Okay, and what I want to do is I'm going to modify this dimension just for fun. And I'm going to modify it. I'm going to set this to eighth inch increments. Okay, and I'm going to start modifying it. And you can see as I do it, this goes down and up but we need to get this again to that common variable and we could guess at it but that's a lot of work so instead what I'm going to do is go to parameter optimize I want to optimize this parameter and set my target let's say to just uh, let's say to 70 inches because maybe we can get a 70 inch standard length of chain link for this who knows so the parameter to adjust I can adjust one parameter either this or this or I can adjust the diameter of sprockets but realistically you're going to adjust one of these and I'm going to say my minimum diameter can be 20, and my maximum, or pardon me, my minimum length can be 20, my maximum length can be 24. I'm going to hit enter. And like this, it says no solution is in range. Okay? Maybe those were the maximum adjustable lengths that I had to adjust one of these sprockets, right? Well, let's see what we'd need. Let's set this to 50 and hit enter. Well, here you can see we'd need this to be 24.2904 inches. But now, the length of our belt here, if you will, or our chain length is exactly 70 inches, which, again, we are trying to target half-inch increments, right? So hopefully you can use this way of optimizing parameters uh, to more quickly design the drive for your mechanical element. 